Hey, it's Mig, so I've been away for a while and I just want to show you my new type of content. S tier is kind of boring, it's just not that fun to grade, so it goes on F. A tier, it's kind of cool, it's not the greatest, but it still earns the spot. B tier, it's really bad, to be honest, nobody grades things in B. <clears throat> C tier, it's really boring, you know, it's just the middle of the pack. D and E tiers, nobody cares about this, to be honest, so it goes on F. And F tier, the best tier ever, like the most evil things, the most trash things, it's the best tier. Spore is one of my favorite games of all time. You go from a small creature and try to become the most powerful one in the universe. From cell stage, creature stage, tribe stage, civilization stage, and space stage, it's really one of my favorite games from my childhood and overall people seem to like it. But recently, I don't know where I saw that, but I saw some people saying that Spore wasn't that great. And when I check here on Steam, it actually says that there are 92% positive reviews, but it should be 100. I really want Spore 2 to release. It was truly one of the games of all time. Okay, I was just kidding, but it was one of the best games of all time. And for the people that said that Spore wasn't that great, I forgive them. So I was watching a game expo recently and this game came up. So this game is called Alien Hominid. And if you didn't know, these are the same guys that made Castle Crashers. It's one of my favorite game companies overall, but uh, please just release Castle Crashers too. I beg. It's literally just one of my favorite games of all time. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece. Please just release it. This is pretty great, but stop wasting your time and release Castle Crashers too. Itch.io is a website that anybody can post their games. And so, look at this. There's like 10 million games out here. Most of these games, you can like pay what you want. Download now. Name your own price. I think it's great. But you know what's best about this website? I can play Among Us games. There's like 10 million. Is it that sus? Is, is, is it? Look, very sussy shooting game. I mean, and many others like. Sometimes I come here and I just choose like a random game to try out. I made videos on it before. And most of the games are free because single game developers look at how many Among Us versions there are like I should make a video just play every single one of these this tool is really underrated you can see everything about steam games from the most played boring story time this is about one of my first games which was Super Mario Galaxy so I just asked for some of those cartridges for the Nintendo DS because I thought it was cool to clarify these were cartridges for the Game Boy Advance but they worked on the DS and I wanted some of them and I got it as a present but uh, I didn't get that I got Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii and I didn't have a Wii so what did I do I saved up and bought a Wii I guess and uh, I played it and it was very nice goaded game by the way Guys, I just found the funniest shit on the internet in a while, so let me just show you. Bro, I literally can't. <laughs> it's so funny. Recently, people have been kind of crazy for this card. It was a card released for Magic the Gathering, and it's a one of one. And people are saying that it's worth $2 million. But this has earned some traction because streamers that don't know Magic the Gathering at all started opening them. This is kind of a cash grab, but I mean, everybody loves Lord of the Rings, so this is kind of exciting, to be honest. Welcome back to the Rise of the Ten million percent of you aren't subscribed, so subscribe right now. First generation Pokemon are the only real Pokemon in my books, but I still want to show you some of my favorite Pokemon, so I'll do it here. I selected five Pokemon that I like the most. The first one is Slowpoke. I don't know why, but I just like this Pokemon because, you know, it just looks really goofy and it's kind of chill. Tangela is the second Pokemon. I really love this Pokemon because I had a card that I really liked for some reason. And I don't know, this Pokemon just looks cool. I really like Tangela, but the second evolution is really bad. I don't know why I hate the next one is Electabuzz. I just think this guy is really cool, you know? He has like electric attacks and looks really badass. And I just like this Pokemon. The next one is Farfetch. It's a really quirky Pokemon. You're holding a piece of vegetable and like... It's just a bird with a personality and I like it a lot. And the last one is Snorlax. I just really like this Pokemon because it's really big. This guy just sleeps all the time and I really like it for some reason. I can't really put into words. 
I've talked about Pokemon recently. I've talked about Magic the Gathering recently. So I feel like I have to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! to complete the trifecta. I'm going to say something controversial, but for me, this game is much better than Pokemon and MTG. For Pokemon, people only play the video games and collect cards. For MTG, you need to be at least 30 years old to enjoy it. So yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! is clearly better. And for the record, the best Yu-Gi-Oh! card is... Join Avian and Versinatrix! Fusion Summon! There he is! The elemental hero, Flame Wingman! Oh my god, so much nostalgia. I love that show.